Hey, good afternoon everyone. Got my camera back going and out in the woods. This is, I think, November 17th. Actually, we're mid-November. Temperature is getting close to 50 today. Tomorrow <clears throat> and Friday, because this is Wednesday, is going to get up closer to 60. Tomorrow's in the mid-50s and I think Friday's going to get near 60. So I'm going to try to get out all three days unfortunately it's already afternoon and with the time change and the sun going down early it's going to be ugly so plus i wanted to check out a new battery I had to get a new battery for the camera as you saw in my last video uh, it wasn't working so actually i hope you guys can see it down there maybe i'll try to zoom in a little bit you see the wall and in front of the wall you can maybe see another wall but that's the wall i was at when uh, a couple of videos ago I ran into a guy in the woods and I told him I was over there in the public area and he says well I own this over here so you can go over and look remember he said there was a bottle lump or whatever so I decided to come over here the only problem is this is really rough land I mean it is hilly gross I'm not sure anything was here but you always want to go around rocks and that's why another reason why I want to make these to help you know, I've been doing this a while, try to help educate other folk and appreciate the two folk that just joined my YouTube channel, Metal Detectives themselves. Sorry, I forget your name. I give you a shout out. But anyway, I was over here by this rock and went right down under there and I was getting a hit. And lo and behold, look at what I got. So that is an old fashioned grease gun. Somebody stuck underneath the, the rock. But, um,. So that, that's my first find of the day. Hopefully we get something a lot more older and, um, you know, in fact, it wasn't even, it was actually sitting on the ground underneath there. So, but anyways, so you know the routine. I'm probably going to go through here a little bit, but I think I might go back on the other side of that wall and just go further up that way to where I found that shoe uh, template. I didn't really do that whole area really, really well in the spring. The bugs were pretty bad that day. So I think I'm going to meander back through here on this side of the wall, up, up into there, if I can. So anyway, wanted to show you that first find of the day. When I find something else, I'll show it to you. See ya. Well, I found something that <clears throat> is not real good. But I've already found a nail. I found a hunk of lead. Uh, spent bullet uh, found a big piece of metal or something I put in that tree there and here found me a beaver tail here right next to this huge tree I've been over here before just for a point of reference as a trail cam over that way that I've taken a picture of before and <clears throat> I want to go through here again I found a button and I think I found that knee buckle I'm calling it anyway uh, the frame with the two little looks like teeth in it right in this area so you can see how much better this is it's kind of more flat and open and clean there's just a lot of trash in here and um, that side over there is just down here it's getting a little better but up over in there where I was was just horrible so I've come down through here and as I was saying earlier, I think I'm going to follow this wall all the way up. There's a couple squares up there. I've only hit a couple times. I've hit in here a bunch. So again, honestly, I'm not expecting to find a whole lot, you know, to be real with you. But hey, I'm out making videos, having fun in the woods, spending time with God. So I'm all good with that. So uh, next time I find something, hopefully it'll be good. I'm not going to just keep showing you trash. I'll show it to you. See ya. Uh, well, I made it out to the far end of the square. I don't know if you can see right through there. There's the wall. It goes up there. There's a mound. Tees off and goes in that direction. But then comes in this direction. And you can see here, something blew out the wall. So, and there's actually a path that goes through here. A pretty big path. And, um, so one of the things we're dealing with is... You can see all this ground cover. Now I was just going over this spot and I had to clean it out to here. I had to get it down to bare dirt. I was barely getting a signal and I'm getting a signal because I want to show it to you. Let 
That's ringing up in 83, 76, 83. It's only got two signal strengths because it's so deep. And what you want to do is go in the other direction also. And you can still see it's 80s. So that can be one of two things. It can be probably, if it was something really good, could be a coin. Or it actually could be a bottle cap, which I'm not surprised if we get that either because I've already found a bottle cap up over there in the corner where I was going because there's a little punch out through that wall too. So, um, but in here is where I found that template for the shoe. I believe it was right over in here. But you can see this area in here is pretty open and clean. So that's why I was just going to really kind of scour this a little bit and there's actually a little trench over there that was dug out and it's rock lined on this side which is interesting I forgot about that so I'm gonna hang out in here a while but uh, I'll definitely let you know what this deal is because that's ringing up some decent numbers a lot higher than I've been getting before so and you can see there's a root here there's a down tree here so I'll get back to you and show you what it is. Well, got me the hole dug. And I think you can see I got it on the last shovel that just came out. What does that look like? Beast of burden. Pork chop. Ye old oxen shoe. Which would make sense, the way it was ringing. And the depth it was ringing at. But, as always... You always want to check the hole, so I'm definitely going to do that. But you can see how deep that was. I'll put my shovel in, and, you know, that, that's pretty deep. So, well, I can put my pinpointer in. This is, this is a foot long, so it's nearly a foot down in the hole. So, But anyways, I'm happy with that. We actually got a relic. So, no more bottle caps, no more nails, but actually an oxen shoe. So I'm good with that. All right. So the next thing I find that's worth showing you, I will. See ya. Well, found another staple of the New Hampshire woods. <clears throat> There's a square I was in. I just came on the outside of the wall here, and I'm going to walk down in through there a little bit. Through here, because it's just clean. It's easy walking. So, just got the oxen shoe right over there on the inside of the wall. So I came through, and here is another staple of New Hampshire Woods Metal Detecting Ye Old Shotgun Shell. Ooh, that's a new one. Somebody's been out here recently. Yeah, that ain't even an oldie. Good night live. So, figured I'd show that to you. Like I said, this is a little more open. It gets really crappy once you get down in there. And uh, you have to go over a ways, and there's another house site up that way. But um, anyway, I'm poking around. It's good to get out and uh, having some fun on a decent day. Starting to get cloudy and chilly. And again, being this late in November, got my orange hat on. We don't want to run into any boys that are actually shooting this thing and get one shot at me. So anyway, we'll see ya. Well, the coin of phrase from Charlie and Not Thursday and the Stealth Diggers, mission accomplished. Got me a nice flat button. Look at that. Proud shank. <clears throat> Beautiful. Coming up through this muck right here next to this dead tree. Oh, probably good six inches down. I probably dug more than I had to. But let me move over here a little bit. I'm not going to be able to really show you what was going on. But those walls I were following was way out there. So I followed them up in here. And then I kind of came down this way. And I know this is kind of a path that comes in here. I've been in here a whole bunch. And it looks like the path actually goes up this way. Even though it's way overgrown. There's a... I don't know if I'd call it a cellar hole or whatever up this way, but I've found a lot of buttons down in through here. So I'm like, it's getting late in the day. Road's right there. So it's an easy out. 
and uh, I'll just swing along up in here and the other thing that like I already told you I'm struggling with is just all the ground cover I mean I barely got a faint signal and I had to kick out a lot of the dirt and stuff scrape it out with my shovel over there and then when I got a clean ground to do the swinging it was coming up kind of solid numbers actually rang up higher than I thought it was running up in the 60s so when I first saw it I thought it might have been a coin but no it's a button I'll take that and um, maybe when I get home I'll put on the video I actually put up uh, printer boxes and stuff with some of my uh, to display my finds so maybe I'll finish out this video with that so you can see that too so I am happy with that mission accomplished and um, when I find something else, I'll show it to you. But if this is the last thing, made the day worth it. Sun's starting to go down, getting chilly. So I don't know how much longer I'll be out. But anyway, find something else, I'll show it to you. See ya. So I'm still poking around. Right down over in there is where I get the button. So I was meandering up through there. You can see it kind of opens up here. So I just wandered over this way. Right on the surface, it was a crazy hit. I got this thing. If you guys can help identify that, that'd be awesome. But that's a heavy duty, I don't know what. You know, these are interesting because their bolts go through. So I could have got some kind of washers. I don't know if that was for a key. Um, but that's a heavy duty hinge right there or whatever it is, right down the surface. I mean, it was a screaming thing. I thought it was going to be trash because it was so loud and obnoxious, but that's why it was right on the surface. So if you kind of know what that is, give it a, give me a comment. Well, yeah, let me know what you think that is. All right, see ya. Well, I'm going to give you a little tailgate wrap up. And uh, this was kind of all the junk I found today. Washer excitement. I don't know what this is. Big piece of metal. It's got a little hook on the top. Uh, just junk. We saw the shotgun willy, the bullet, found the cartridge, found a 22 slug. Miscellaneous other junk that I didn't show you. Here's the oxen shoe I showed you. And then kind of this mystery item. Yep. So if you happen to know what that is, let me know. Put it in the comments. And um be interesting. I, it's, it's old, and uh, I don't know. So, and then, this is a button I got on the last time, you probably saw. The one I shot my phone, I still had it in my vest, so I thought I'd show you. And the prize of the day, mission accomplished. A nice flat button, and I think what I'll do too is, um, when I get done with this, bring, it, bring you in the house and I will show you where I'm keeping my flat buttons and the savable things, alright? So, I'll catch you in a bit. See ya. Well, I told you I'd share with you where I store my little treasures. This is a printer's box. Um, my daughter and son-in-law got me for Christmas. I remember if it was last year or the year before. Probably was last year. But you can see where I kind of gives me the opportunity now to put up the finds that I've gotten. A lot of the flat buttons. Sorry, the lighting's probably not the best in here. Got me the flat button from today. I think I'll just put it right there for now. I've been having to double them up as you can see there. And, and on top, I had more than I thought. Got me that skeleton key some years back, ox knob. Probably the prize is complete shoe buckle. And then I got me a complete, and it still works. Crota bell, jingle bell, whatever people want to call it. We'll bring it over to the light for you. See that? Cleaned up nice. Still got the ringer. Many times the ringers are never working anymore and it had this piece on the top so I just left it on there and then here's all the probably my best find is right there half real and um, bring it over to the light for you half real 1787 so you probably can't see it in there but 
So I've got all my coins here. Prize and joy in the middle, back up. And all those are coins. I did have a lot of the buttons and everything else in these, so I still got a lot more room up here. I can put things when I find them. Um, so, and then all the buttons, as you can see. So, and found that stainless steel spoon out in the woods, too. And there's that shoe buckle I was telling you about today, uh, the knee buckle, when I was out out and about I told you that was where I found that and this is what I was referring to the knee buckle and I actually found which I didn't know the insides to one there so um, you know which was pretty cool I didn't know what that was at the time until now I got a completed one so I got them both together and here is part of a shoe buckle that um, the innards are gone you can see the ends. I don't know if you can see them, but the ends both have holes at the end. And um, that sucker is really green. So, another one. So, there you go. That's what I did. So, if that gives you an idea on how you can help display yours, I just put this chain on it, screwed it in one end, hung it up. And um, so, that's what I got. So, now when I come in the office, I can sit and admire my fine so i hope you are having a blessed day and hey happy hunting see ya